Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. Here are the highlights. INEC says election will not hold in 240 polling units across Nigeria. Federal government commends Nigeria's armed forces for swift response to security threats. Federal High Court Abuja adjourns the 14th February for ruling on bail application filed by Ali Belo. Lagos State orders Corona's inquest to a certain cause of death in the case of late Whitney Adeniro. Chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission says elections will not hold in 240 polling units across the country because no voter chose the units during the last continuous voter registration between June 2021 and July 2022. Professor Mahmoud Yakubu disclosed this when he met with leaders of political parties as part of wide consultations and preparation for a hitch-free election. The electoral umpire met the political players contesting for votes. This kind of meeting is to enhance transparency and improve credibility of the electoral commission. The Federal High Court Abuja has adjourned to 14th February for ruling on the bail application filed by Ali Bello and three others on an alleged three billion naira fraud charge brought against them by the EFCC. On 8th of February, Justice Obiore Guato adjourned for ruling on the bail application filed by the defendants after they had pleaded not guilty to the 18-count charge. At the resumed seating, counsel to the defendant Ahmed Raji San had told the court that the EFCC had filed a counter affidavit to the bail application. The counter affidavit was filed on 10th February, which made it impossible for them to reapply. The Lagos State Government has ordered a coroner's inquest to ascertain the cause of death in the case of late Whitney Adenio, a 12 year old student of Chrisland School who died on Thursday, 9th February 2023. The Lagos State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Muyasoro Nigbanjo, gave the directive in a statement today, noting that a thorough investigation will be carried out to ascertain the cause of death. The Commissioner noted that as a responsible government, the security and well-being of citizens are of utmost importance, assuring the public that everything will be done to ensure the cause of death is determined.